get in your uh, conspiracy theory area right quick. Uh, Donna. Okay. This Whitney Houston real mom thing. I'm going to add a clip in right here. You sent this. And at first, I was like, hell no. I'm going to let it play here. Though. Now, I'm not going to say this is true. But this just popped up on my For You page. And now I feel like I am being played with okay now this is alleged this is all conspiracy but y'all know me i love a good conspiracy okay so pretty much what is being said right is that whitney houston is not the biological daughter of sissy houston but she's still her mother nonetheless okay let's just put that out there now allegedly right um sissy is actually whitney's stepmom like on some real life fence the movie type situation. Like the father of Whitney Houston um, actually had allegedly an affair, right? And the affair was allegedly with this singer actress named Teresa Graves. And allegedly when the affair happened, allegedly, I'm gonna keep saying allegedly, allegedly, right? Um, Teresa got pregnant. And then when she gave birth to the baby, basically he was like yo sissy we're gonna take care of this child together this is my baby I, like i said on some real like the movie fences remember how denzel came home with the baby it was like her mama died during birth this is my baby we gonna raise it that like on some shit like that i'd appreciate it if you used to help me take care of her and now i wouldn't have believed it if these mother lovers wasn't doing side by sides like this like do you see and then I had seen an interview that Teresa Graves did back in the day and she sounds just like Whitney um, uh, shows how it's called the funny side of marriage it's how we all meet and court each other and we finally get married there's a big wedding scene it's really pretty and Gene Kelly is the minister and it shows all couples getting married and we have a big dance section and we do the waltz and we do the polka and we do the horror it's, I mean it's great we do everything in the show it's gonna be the best thing on next fall <laughs> trust me <laughs> in the studio since I was 12 uh, my mom took me to the studio and uh, I've been working professionally since I was 12 years old. You know, and I said, I want to be a singer. You know, she said, you want to be a singer? You really do? I said, yeah, I really do. So she said, okay, let's go. And she took me by my hand and, and that was it. But I'm, I, I feel no pressure from those two. I mean, I, I have nothing to prove. I give myself and, and that's it. That's all I have to give. It's not all it's cracked up to be. <laughs> it ain't all the glamour and, and all that stuff. It's hard work. It's a lot of work. But when you love it it, it, it feels good. My face being shown all the time uh, certainly doesn't hurt at all. And uh, when uh, people people in, in, in the modeling business really never knew that I did sing. So when they found out I did sing, it was like, oh, so besides that, you can sing. So let's let's deal with that too, you know? So it was it's just one feeds off another, you know? They both, they both give, give one another. <laughs> now, I ain't saying I believe. All right. <sighs> hey, man, they got a point. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't, you know, I don't do conspiracy theories after 2003. But this one here. That this one is there. Pre, this is pre-2003, so I'm, I can't talk dress this one in. This one looks yeah, very good. Very, very, this one looks real good. Like, this one looks real. The look, the mouth, the way she spoke, the way she sang, her mannerisms. It was looks creepy. Real tasty. It was creepy. So what do you? Because what I do you? That never look like none of the other Houston's, like in general. Me neither, but that ain't none of my business. Right, because right, right, right. But I'm talking even in general. I no, and, and, see, and I always felt like okay. And the second of all, her daddy was a fly dude, though. Yeah, but see, also I always felt like she probably pulled more from um, Dion Warwick. You know, with that being her being her aunt. Yeah. So I felt like that. So I, because jeans show up in weird ways, you know, like I, you know, you could look like a second. All of a sudden you got a second cousin twice removed and that person look like you. 
<laughs> you yeah. know, so you know, look just alike, and you like we ain't never even met each other. We never met each other. You know, y'all have similar interests in certain things. Like it's just really funny. And so I think that I I think I said that to you in the middle of the night. I'll be on TikTok, y'all. I'll get up and go to the bathroom, and then all of a sudden I'm on TikTok and I'm scrolling, and the random stuff is coming up on my feed, and that's how this happened. And I just I sat there. I was I got chills. I got chills watching that video and certain stuff kind of makes sense now. <laughs> but also it's like how they really, I felt like, especially because how they was trying to shield Whitney Houston from a lot of stuff and protect her from all of this stuff. Mm-hmm. I could see that really also being another layer to it. And, and it's like you said, she, said she, girl, she knows the real, real thing, in the, but she can't display it. Think about how messed up that could do you as an individual. If this is true and like you find out that your mother is this other woman, but Clive Davis and them are saying, hey, we can't even run with that. You just gonna have to run with this. And you gotta sit with that. On top of the fact your dad was cheating, the, it's just so many layers that you got to so many layers to it because it wasn't like he just oh all of a sudden he stopped cheating because you remember she didn't even go to his funeral no so it's so many layers to to her story because I, I watched the I want to dance with somebody movie Oh, and it, it was How really was good. I, I thought, is that the is that the actual movie, or the, is that the one where it's like no, the not the one with Yaya. It's the actual movie that her her family cleared. No, uh, it's, it's, not a, it's it's a documentary. Is it or is it a live action? It's, it's just a movie. Okay, it's That's a movie. The old girl that was kind of a new girl that came that was a Broadway chick, right? I th- I think so. Because uh, what you call it? Play him, play uh Bobby in that uh my boy from um. From, yes. Uh, Moon, moonlight. Yes. Yes. Play Bob. Yeah. Yes. And it was. Oh, he was good too. He. Was oh, good. he was. He was good. He's a good actor, though. He's a good actor. He's a good. He. He was. But also, I think that. Um, so, like, it was so many layers to her story, and I think when you start to really talk, like us in general, how complex things are as human beings, and then think of on top of fame. So, like, think of Whitney Houston, just like how we talked about Will Smith. Oh, which I sent you that. We're going to have to talk about that one day. Uh, you know, like that, being one, a that, one, that, that one feels definitely like way closer to the truth. That one. You, the Will Smith one. Oh, you said you, if it was closer to being true? Yeah. like I, that, that one doesn't even feel like that's a conspiracy. That is. Oh, I, don't like think, that. I didn't think it was a conspiracy. I, I, I could totally uh, believe it. It's the street shit that you got a homeboy that can help you out. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. this is. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I was like that. Uh, but I think that when it comes to, you know, us in general and like how we are, like it's so many layers to us. And and then think what about when. Hey, y'all, y'all got to go check out that new Will Smith uh, podcast. It's fucking good. OK. All, all right. I'm going to check it's it out. It's called 1988. And it's just okay. talking about, oh, they just interviewed a whole bunch of rappers from 88. OK. So it's, it's good. Uh, it's real good. <laughs> <laughs> but really? ultimately, th- so think about Whitney Smith, Whitney Smith, Whitney Houston <laughs> as being <laughs> Whitney Houston as America's sweetheart. So it's like so much pressure on her to be this perfect person. You know, you know, you got so many critics of her. You know, she felt like she wasn't accepted by like black people. They felt like she was trying to be white and all these different things. And then all these, you know, her sexuality comes into play and she can't be her true authentic self. So she, it was a lot that, like you said, having to sit with a lot of stuff. Which ultimately, you know, dro- drove her to doing other stuff, you know, unfortunately. And it wasn't like, and for the record, we're going to stop shitting on Bobby Brown because yeah, multiple people have said that he did not introduce her to drugs. She introduced him and, and she, her brother and her brother. her brother, her brother introduced it to her. This is this is confirmation like this. They have they people. So leave Bobby Brown alone. I love Bobby Brown. So, so mentioning this, I'm sorry, I just looked up 
they, this to get real complicated. So the woman of their list, Teresa Graves, she died in 02. Mm -hmm. He dies in 03. Her daddy. Does that, yeah. And what if he, she finds out around that time when she's dying? Wait. She died What's in 02. Mean? Her dad died in 03. I mean, Teresa Graves, the woman there, a legend, is her mother. She's died in 02. You yes. said that he didn't go, didn't go to her dad's own funeral in 03. He died in yeah. 03. I'm just saying that connection of what if she found out right around then when she was when her mother was dying, that that was not her real, that was that was her real mother. And in turn, she it didn't could, come to her dad's funeral. Be that, but they they touch on a lot of stuff. You have to, to watch the movie, but oh, the so daddy, they, about that. they showed in the movie to watch where their relationship. Yeah, first. like so the daddy was stealing from her. Oh like, shit! Like Brittany, Whitney was like on the verge of bankruptcy. Like the dad, like it's a whole it? old baby. It is T. So it is, is this before Bobby that she, she almost went broke? No, this is like after. This is like during, like after, like all of that, like she, because she ends up like her dad was her manager. So something happens where she has Robin, like, uh, I don't know if it's like her dad's what, so whomever this other woman is that was working for her, could have been her, so she, they pull all of these records, mm -hmm. baby, he, he's spinning like all the, like just spinning money. So they fell out mainly because like, she didn't have no money. They talk um, about all of that. So the, it makes sense, like, why she did not go. And uh, low-key, the Whitney Houston estate may not have no money, period. Because how much publishing does she probably own? I, I don't I don't know, because I know oh, she did with Clive Davis, too, now. I yeah. mean, how much publishing was she owning back then? She didn't you write no what? songs. I don't know she how... But even how, like now, like he could have been a, a you know, a, how they even, but how they showed their relationship, I I don't know if. I I'm saying there was a lot of money already, though, and he's stealing from a little bit. I'm saying that she doesn't have publishing or anything that residually. You know, I, don't, I don't know what they what the, what her I don't remember what her contract was, but even her relationship with Clive, it was kind of almost kind of like not that he was in love with, but he like loved her. Like he cared for her. And because like he she when she goes to rehab, that's mm -hmm. because of Clive Davis. Mm. Clive Davis steps in and, and it's like, no, nah, we're not having that. Mm. So ultimately, you know, maybe she could have found found out. That would be an interesting conversation, you know. To uh, I think Robin was her aunt, but that would be an interesting conversation. Maybe if somebody, you know, talked to her brother or maybe dug deeper. And at this point, I mean, to even prove that we they would have to exhume both of their bodies or maybe because she only had Bobby and Bobby Christina died. But I was like, they would have to test somebody within. But it's no it's nobody to test. But yeah. I mean, that was that 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 what I sent you. I was like, ain't no way. And then I was like, oh, my God. Man, that is that offensive be... shit, like she said, that was literally fences. I mean, man, what if, I mean, that would be crazy, man. Yeah, that was a lot. That was a lot. And it's interesting here, man. She, they, she didn't have any of the kids. Yep. No, she great. had, yep. Wow. This is, man, this is, man. Because wow, think geez. about it, if it, if it, like maybe they try to have another kid, maybe they was having issues trying to have another kid, and then this situation come in. No, I'm, I'm talking the woman Teresa Graves too. Yeah, no, but I'm like, think about it, like where she might not have been because they were saying, like, 
you know, she was kind of like this struggling artist. Like she was doing stuff, but maybe she, you know, especially during that time, not getting your just due, you know, not getting paid. How you, and so you financially really can't take care of this kid. So that's like the next best thing to do. And then you raise this kid. Yeah, they said she lived in the, she died in the Hyde Park neighborhood in LA. And, Teresa in Gray. Chicago? No, and they said in LA. Oh, okay. She died. A space heater uh, caught on fire. Damn. Yeah, that's weird. That make that makes me think like, yo, you didn't have no heat. Like for a space heater to cut on chest on fire, that means you got you got it rolling. I have a space heater right here, but I also just like heat on my feet. Right. They said she was pat the, the whole plant thing caught on fire from it. Damn. So it says it's 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 uh they said the high park. Touches Lemur Park on the north, Vermont Square on the northeast, Churchfield Square on the east, Manchester Square on the south, and Inglewood on the south. Okay. And okay, View Park, Windsor Hills on the west. Okay, yeah, I know where that is. Yeah. yeah. So that's where she was. She was living at was in Hyde Park. And I'm looking at her. This, I mean, her filmography. She didn't have too too much. Um, like you said, um, she had a couple of TV shows and. It, Kind of went off and nothing cracked after seventy five. So how yeah. was wouldn't your see wouldn't Houston been born in? She got she would have been sixty some right? Yeah, cause she died. She was fifty. And that was what shit. How long was that ago now? Twenty ten. Damn, it's been thirty. No, no, so that was twenty. No, that was twenty eleven. So she'd have been sixty two right now. Mm-hmm. So yeah. She, Two. Or was she 55? No, I think Michael Jackson was 55. Or was he 50? Let's see. I'm going to pull it Whitney up here. So Whitney, oh, Whitney would be 60 this year. She would have turned yeah, 60. She, yeah, it was 20. Oh, actually, that was 2012. Uh, because it was the day. I remember it was the day before my birthday. 63. Yeah. Um, um, she was born in 63. And she just, this up, uh, uh, Teresa Graves didn't start getting into movies and stuff till 69. Yeah, I mean it's great. This is a that's a this is a great uh conspiracy theory. Oh, for real, for real. Um, let's go. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's do the Tim Anderson update, and we're gonna go to our baby uh, baby making section of the uh, show. Um, <laughs> Tim Anderson, man, who I really really like him as a, a baseball player because he gives you that old flash and flair from back in the day. Gives you a Willie Mays Hayes. From the movie Major League that Wesley Snipes played, but things ain't been going too good for him uh, since he got tossed. Number one by um, I forgot the player's name. Uh, he got tossed up uh, and got all those Sonic coins knocked out of him uh, a few months ago. Yeah, and he also had his other his alleged. Oh no, it's not even alleged. Just his other another baby another, another woman with a baby uh, out in him. And then he got the other woman, his wife, pregnant at the same time. It's alleged. I mean, I mean, it's not even alleged, right? I mean, that's just. What yeah, happened. no, he got her pregnant not too much longer after that baby was here. Because, like, if y'all don't remember the tea that we spilled, it was the the side the side girl tea, and how he said he was gonna be with her. How he don't really like his wife, and he just with his wife for for you know photo purposes and things like that and she you know had them all with hanging out with the baby which is i mean the nigga was living a double life niggas <laughs> life, okay if y'all can't do nothing right the one thing y'all can do is live a double fucking life okay hey y'all if y'all like what y'all see here on everyone needs an aquarius be sure to like subscribe and share our podcast with your friends because we got all the tea and you know if you want to check out more stuff from us be sure to hit that button Right there, right there on the right side so you can see other stuff and, again, share, share with everybody.